you just don't know how to read it and I'm going to help you learn how to read it. What I'm about to show you is probably going to blow your mind. And if you like what you see in this video, make sure you hit subscribe, like, all the other stuff. But also, to get more information, go down to www.gelvinguitars.com and pick up my Mastering the Guitar Fretboard series, which I go over a lot of this stuff and even more. So in the last video, I had talked about the way that the guitar is tuned up and the reason it's tuned the way that it is. And I'm going to expand upon that in this video. So everybody put your thinking caps on because you're going to need it. I had mentioned in the previous video that people have a tendency to think linear, right? They're thinking one, two, three, four, five, or just like how they read left to right, right? They're only thinking one direction. Let's go ahead and draw six strings. Now, because this is going to be the low E up here, and this will be the high E. Now, because the low E is the closest to our face, we have a tendency to think top down, right? And top down is a lot like left to right. And this, once again, is the linear thinking that is sending you for a loop. When people see this, they go, oh, it's a circle of fourths. Not really, not really, it's the circle of fifths. This is not the first string. This is what is considered the first string down here, the high E. But truth be told, the first string is this guy right here, the B string. That is what you should consider the first string. And I'm going to explain why. There's going to be two strings that we're going to be kind of looking at and separating from everything else. And it's going to be the second one in, which is the B, and it's going to be the second one in, right here, which is the A. And we are going to be calling these home base. I bet you're already getting confused, aren't you? But don't worry. I'm going to, I'm going to make this easy for you. Now, what I want you to do is instead of thinking of the strings as one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, I want you to think of it like this. One, we're going to skip one, two, we're going to skip one, three. Then we're going to come back down here. We're going to say four, we're going to skip one, we're going to say five, we're going to skip one, we're going to say six. Now if we had a seven string, that would be our seven. If we do not have a seven string, which most people do not, this guy right here, our home base, it's going to be a half a step down. And then that would be our seventh. Now, why am I saying it like this? This actually represents the pattern of a scale. Okay. In other words, if we ended up looking at A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we know that these are our notes right here in the key of C. And then after this, it would start over. A, B, C, la, la, la right it would go down the line this is actually tuned in an open C okay so the guitar is tuned in an open C you're gonna say no it isn't no it isn't yes it is I had mentioned in my previous video that the E and the B right here were purposely tuned down A half a step and the reason why was so it would be easier to make chord shapes this should actually end up being what is currently on the first fret which is a C and an F when we automatically move everything up a half step on these lower two you're going to see that everything is a circle of fifths so let's go ahead and I'm going to use this section over here to look at these these open notes. We end up having our E, we have our A, we have our D, we have our G. This, even though it's a B, we're gonna call it a C, and there's our F. Remember, this is just tuned down a half a step for, for 
uh, functionality with the chords. Okay. Then we also end up having, if we had a seven string, we would have a B up here, or this right here would end up being a half step down. Okay. Now this is an additional half step down and I, I, I'm trying to block the light here guys. Um, but when we look at this, these are all the notes that are in a C scale. When we look at number one, it's this. Number two is this. Number three is this. Number four is this. Number five is this. Right? Number six is this. And of course, seven right here, or we can just add the half step down. Well, what does that turn it into? C, D, E, F, G, A, B. It starts showing up in this order. Now, because the, the B string, right, which we're going to be thinking of it as a C, but the B string, that's our home base. So we're going to be starting at C right here. We're going to be starting at C. And if we do this, that means that C is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means this is your third, this is your fifth, this is your seventh, right? So when you're making your chords, they're gonna say you wanna use the one, three, five. Well, right here, one, three, five. One, three, five. And what we're doing is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or half a step down for the seven. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to think of the first top three strings these guys right here, these are minors. These strings right here, these are majors. Okay, remember home base? Home base is here, home base is here, but home base is only here for the minors, and I'll explain that here in a second. Let's look at, once again, we're gonna end up looking at the open strings. Once again, making mental note that everything was tuned down a half a step for these, these two right here. So we can come over here and we're going to go E, A, D, G, C, F. The C and the F would be me fretting these two notes. If we had tuned these up a half a step, they would be open. Okay. So this is what we've got going on here with that. Now, in the key of C, right here, in the key of C, these are our major chords. These are our minor chords, okay? Half a step down, which would be a B, that is our diminished. So if I'm gonna be doing C major, I'm going to be fretting right here, because that is the C, it's the first fret. And then I'm gonna be fretting here, and then everything behind it, I'm going to bar, okay? If I'm going to do a D, I'm gonna be fretting here, I'm gonna be fretting here. This plate replaces the nut right here, and then this right here will be our diminished. Let's say this time we wanna know about maybe in the key of D major, okay? Remember, these are our majors. This right here are our minors. And because of that, we're gonna be finding D on this string because we're doing major. If it was going to be, we were gonna to try to find D minor, we would go to the A string trying to find D, which would be on our fifth our fifth fret, that's where we would start, okay? So let's say this is our third fret. Let's say that we wanna do the key of D major. Well, where is D? We, we know that D is right here if we fret that. And remember that pattern that I had done earlier, right? We have to fret this one too because everything was tuned down a half a step for the sake of chord position. And then we're gonna bar this up here. This would be our diminished. All of these notes right here are not only the chords of, but they're the notes of D major, okay? So we have D here. Underneath D is what? It's a G. 
And remember, when we're using the circle of fifths, we're thinking about what is above that note, what is below that note, right? We're not counting. We're not going, let me see, uh, over here we got ourselves an E, we got ourselves an F, we got ourselves a G. No, what we're doing is right here it's D. What's underneath D? G. What's above a D? It's an A. Okay, so let's see. What is above a D? Is it an A? Well, right here is our G. We skip one. That would be an A. Okay, so over here we have our, starting at the bottom, we have our A. What is above an A? It is an E. What is above an E? That is a B. What is above a B? That is going to end up being a G flat. Now we have our diminished, and our diminished is going to be what? It's going to be a D flat. So, in the key of D major, these are our major chords. These are our minor. This is our diminished. And this is true over the entire fretboard. So all you're doing, in the case of D, all you're doing is barring that, and then these two get pushed down. That is it. And when you want your diminished, you just raise that finger up. That's it. How easy is that? You can sit there and say, okay, well, if this is a D, this is an E. Okay, well, this right here, that's all of the notes and all of the chords in the key of E major. F major, G major. Okay. Now, I was talking about the minor, right? Home base for the minor. In other words, every, every major key has a relative minor key, right? So this would be that relative minor. And what is that? It is a B. So B minor, if you wanted to know, for instance, all of the notes that were in the key of A minor, as well as all of the chords, well, the A was either right here or it's right here, okay? Because the, the major C, as well as the uh, minor A, they're the same notes, they're the same chords. Real quick, like, let's go over the circle of fifths again, because that's how this is tuned, guys. This is always going clockwise, by the way. If you go counterclockwise, it turns into the circle of fourths. This is why if you start up here and you work your way down, you're doing fourths. But we're doing fifths, so we go that way. We're going clockwise. After the B is a G flat. After that is a D flat. After that is an A flat. After that is an E flat. And after that is a B flat. This is the exact same thing that is on your fretboard. That right here is your seven string. Here is your low E, your A, your D, your G. Okay? Because it just keeps going and going and going. What is after what is after a G? A B. What is after that B? An E. Right? It's here. All you have to do is memorize the order of your strings and you already have the circle of fifths. Now, some people have a hard time remembering this pattern um, and it's because they've separated it from the guitar and they're like, oh, it's really hard to remember. It's the same thing that's on the guitar. Now in the future, I'm gonna be showing you even more stuff about the fretboard and how to read it correctly and how to turn this into your best friend. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm so glad I have my guitar neck. It's my best friend. It's my abacus. It's my computer. It tells me everything. It has all the answers. Hit subscribe, hit like, all that other good stuff. Go check out my Mastering the Guitar Fretboard series over at Gelvin Guitars. You will not be disappointed. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.